What's up guys? I hope you're enjoying your weekend. Dave Palumbo here from Muscle Serpents Daily and we're having a special weekend edition. And to join us in the weekend edition, I have my beautiful Scoria female here. And she is just uh, having a ball out here in the beautiful, nice 75 degree weather with a nice cool breeze here in Florida. And we're gonna be talking about Scorias today. We're just gonna do a special little Scoria quick weekend hit because I kind of left you guys high and dry on Thursday and Friday. I just got so busy and I never got a chance to do a video. So we're doing the weekend edition. I'm going to show you my five Scoria females that I produced that are double head paradigm blood. They're all such different variability and they all look so different that I want to really show you the difference on them. Two of those are going to be made available as well. So hopefully you guys are going to enjoy. This is the mama and the mama was bred to a paradigm blood and he was gorgeous. I could show you him in a minute. We'll do the outro with him. And we produce some really nice babies. These scorias have the great purple in them. They have the really lack of pattern and just some really cool stuff going on. And even this female in her, uh, her adulthood, as we call it, still has some great color. She bred last year for me. I'm thinking about actually breeding her again this year. She's really up to size again. I might do it, go again this year, see if she goes, then give her a year off. Um, usually you don't want to breed boas more than two years in a row. Some people go every other year. It depends on what they look like, you know. Sometimes they just don't go also. So she, I might breed her and she might not go. I'm going to debate what I'm going to breed her to this year. But once again, look at that. Look at that little baby. <laughs> Let's go into the snake room. Where actually, I'm going to bring the snakes outside today so we can get some really good idea of what these things look like in some natural sunlight. Let's go. All kinds of fun here on Sunday at Palumbo's Pythons and Boas. And we're doing a lot of cleaning. We got Javen here. Say hey, jo hi, Javen. <laughs> Javen had a soccer game we saw yesterday. He's cleaning up some of the big boas now. Excuse me, the bo big uh, ball pythons that we'll be breeding this year. There's a nice uh, pinstripe scaleless head. I guess he does all we got Caden over there doing water jugs, yeah. paper towels, mm -hmm. and getting in trouble. No, yeah. he's my assistant. Yeah. And I got my cousin Mario here. Hey. He's doing babies. Yeah. How many babies? We got like we still have like what like 500 babies left. <laughs> Yeah. Seems like it. <laughs> That's like a, what do we, we probably have like, like 150, 200, right? Probably, I think, yeah. yeah, yeah. So he's doing all baby tubs. We actually moved a bunch of, of snakes around today because some of them are outgrowing the little ones. I'm putting them in the ARS uh, hatchling racks. These have a little, the ARS hatchling racks have more room than the vision ones. So it's good to have both because you can kind of transition them from this one to this one. I like that. And it gives you a little bit more flexibility. And then I'll keep the really small stakes in these, you know, once again, in the vision ones. Uh, this is uh, from Sea Serpents. Uh, this is a real, this is, these have a lot of room. These are pretty nice. I only have one of these, but there's a lot of room in these as well. But I think the, once again, I think these have the most room in them. And you can really grow some snakes up to a pretty decent size in the ARS ones. And of course, there's my humidifier and Everyone's hard at work. Let's get back to work. We'll get to see some scorias. All right, here is a great update for the first scoria. This is scoria number one. And as you can see, the scoria's got the great eyes. I love their eyes. This is a scoria that's double het for paradigm blood. That means it's, it carries the gene for blood. And it also is a para het, which means that because Paradigm is a sharp albino combined on the same allele with a bow woman caramel, you don't know what you're gonna get. So it's either gonna throw a bow woman caramel, it's gonna throw a sharp albino, one or the other. Look at this, she's very inquisitive. <laughs> she wants to see what's going on here. She, she wants to get some, she wants some camera time. She thinks she's a cobra. She thinks she's a king cobra, look at that. She's hooding up. <laughs> this girl's gonna be available. One of the few that I'll be letting go. Look at that tail. Wow. Look at the delineation on that tail. You know, we all know that blood um, definitely messes with pattern. So this is not just a normal looking scoria. All the scorias look a little off, a little different. And that's because of that blood gene in the head form. This one's got the really cool little shapes on its back. And it's been getting much, much better color as it's getting older. It's got the Scorias always have that like purplish head. Really nice. Here is Scoria baby number two. This is the Scoria once again, double head paradigm blood. And you can see this one has much more diffuse pattern on it. 
Once again, that really cool looking eye. It almost looks melanistic on the head, but it's not. And once again, the pattern that really disrupted by that het blood gene that's in there, or the, the one copy of the blood gene. Incredible looking tail. Love that white and black zebra-ish looking stuff going on. And just really, really rich color that's coming in. The reason why, you know, the scorias are purplish in color. It's hard for the camera to pick this up, but they're very purplish. And so putting blood in there and paradigm in there is going to make it even purpler. And I think it's going to look ridiculous. And that's, that's the goal long term here. Let's go take a look at another one. All right, here is scoria number three. Once again, the beautiful eye. This one has a much, much, much cleaner pattern. Uh, very, very diffuse saddling at all. It's kind of like all relegated to the sides. The dorsal surface of this, this girl is completely devoid of, of any pattern. Uh, the blood gene really worked really well on this one, obviously. And very clean looking pattern. This will, this is a keeper. Look at the side. On the sides you can see almost like a darker pigmentation. And then on top, it's like really clear. Very unusual looking. She's gotten really nice too as she's gotten older. Once again, these scories eat really good. They grow really fast. And I'm not even feeding them that much. It's just, they're just really good feeders uh, as babies, as opposed to a lot of boas are not. They don't regurge. They're really, they're pretty, they're pretty bulletproof at this age. Once again, looks some, some cool looking <laughs> tribal pattern. <laughs> Looks like there's some tribal tattoos on this uh, on this girl. I love that. You know the, the differences, the nuances of the scoria. And once again, not all snakes look alike, and it it doesn't have anything else to do with the the morph. It has to do with just the the genetics of the snake, the polygenics of how all the other things interact. This is a very light looking snake. Some of the other ones that had more pattern though were, were a little darker purple. She's a little lighter. Here is boa number four. She's a little frisky. She has got some really cool side patterning. It's not as dark pigmented, but you see all the little shapes on the side. It's definitely delineated from the top. Her dorsal surface is definitely all clear. She's got nothing, no tribal symbols, nothing. Very clear um, dorsal surface. Everything she's got, all her patterning is really on the side. Really, once again, the cool eye of the scoria. Um, great eater. All oh, these scorias are really good eaters. Great color. Her colors are probably, in terms of, um, I would say, contrast. She's got the best contrast. She's got a lot of different dramatic colors that are popping out. Her Even her dark pigments, her blacks, stick out a lot more on her sides. Uh, the other ones seem to be a little more diffuse. And once again, it's just what you like, you know? And what you don't like, it's, it's it's different. That's why I'm going to hold back a bunch, a few of these, and see what they do. But once again, everything's different. That's what I like about scoria. No two scorias are ever alike. You know, Let's see if we can get her out of this little corner here. When I was holding her, she was fine. Look at look at the, look at how much more you see at the edge of her tail going into her body. I mean, you can see that there's like a straight line there. Look at that. The other ones don't have it. it looks like someone took a, a like a sharpie marker and just marked it up and look at the white outlining on that she is just really impressive looking this one and this is this last scoria number five female this is my favorite this is the one everyone's been asking me about they want to buy from me keeping her i like her pattern i like all the tribal stuff on her dorsal surface i mean look at this same genes in all these snakes, completely all different looking. She's watching the camera. She wants to get some, once again, the, the really crazy looking scory eyes. Love that. Um, less pigment on her head. Very clean body, but a lot of patterning, but in a, in a really diffuse manner. The little horseshoes, we've showed that before when she was a baby, they stayed. And once again, all on her dorsal surface, which they, they all the other ones have very clean dorsal surfaces. And her sides are almost, you know, devoid of anything. It's really weird how different they are. 
And that's what I think makes the squirry so interesting. They don't all look alike. She's following me, obviously. So, and she's got like more, this is like brown. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. The other ones were black. Th these spots and all these tail pattern, it's brown. It literally looks brown, I'm telling you. She just wants to come to the camera yet. She's got browns in her, and I don't know what the, the deal is or why they're different. And then she got this like random like spot right there. <laughs> out of nowhere, you know, it's just weird looking. She's a, definitely a different looking scoria. So that's all the scorias. Um, two of those will probably be up for sale. Uh, you can contact me directly. It's silly for me to put them on Morph Market, although I might, but I have a couple people interested already. They're big, they're ready to go. I mean, these things are eating, they're rock solid. All right, that was it, guys. Like I said, quick weekend hit. Hopefully you guys are enjoying your weekend and doing all your snake cleaning. We're doing some snake cleaning actually right now. Uh, my cousins and I were cleaning all the snakes up. I got my pet, this is my Paradigm Blood. This was the daddy to the, uh, to those scorias. Really gorgeous in his own right. That Paradigm, which is the boa and the caramel combined with the sharp albino. And then you add the blood gene in there and you have this wonderfulness. This boy has uh, been doing some good breeding this past year. And I suspect we're gonna be putting him into the lineup this year as well to produce some more great stuff. Once again, you know, I found that every boa has a different look. Every boa surprises you when you breed it to different things. And just when you think you figure it out, hey, maybe I shouldn't breed this and this because it won't look good, do it anyway. Because you know what? Sometimes those are the things that turn out the best. So I found out, okay, that scories all have a tremendous variability, especially when you put other genes into them. That blood gene, okay, when you in the het form, really changes up pattern, and I think that that really, that's the only thing I can attribute it to. I think it's a combination of the of the het blood with the fact that scories are variable in and of themselves. And that's why we got different pattern, you know, snakes. Now, the question is, will those differences translate to the next generation when you breed these scoria double het paradigm bloods? I don't know. Well, you know how that goes, guys. <laughs> Many times, just people like snakes, Snakes like people have very few words, but have a lot of action. Enjoy your weekend. I'll see you Monday morning. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications, hit the like button, and have a fun weekend.